Hello and welcome to another X-Ray Tech video. Today, we're gonna to be syncing Google Sheets to Airtable using a tool called Unito. Now, if you've never heard of Unito before, it is a automation tool entirely designed for syncing large data sets among databases. So G Sheets really isn't a database, but a lot of people use it. And Airtable is a little bit more like a database and it can really help us structure our data and keep this information synchronized in two places. Now this is great for multiple teams, different departments. People are comfortable in the tools that they love. So if you have one team on G Sheets and one team on Airtable, this is the tutorial for you to help keep them on the same page. So let's get into it. So for this tutorial, you're gonna need Google Sheets, you're gonna need an Airtable account, and you're gonna need a Unito account. So those three tools and we're good to go. First thing we need to do is prepare our G Sheets and Airtable to have identical columns. So when we go into G Sheets, you see first name, last name, email, company, and department uh, in columns A through E, and that is just fine the way it is right now. And you see identical columns inside of Airtable. Um, company, first name, last name, and, and the rest. The first thing we actually need to do in our G Sheet is add the Unito add-on to our Google Sheet. So you can click on add-ons right there in the top left uh, and go to get add-ons and this will take you to the Google Marketplace and you can just search Unito. No surprise, it's the one and only option. So when you click on that, uh, just install it for at least your user. If you're working at a bigger company and you'd like to install it for the domain, make sure you ask IT first. Um, and after you open the add-on, that button right there, insert the two columns into the sheet. That's gonna create a Unito ID and also a last modified time. Last modified time is a very specific criteria for Unito. It's how it does the calculations to understand if it needs to sync any more, uh, any more data here. So notice that in Airtable, we picked the last modified time field type and then just named it last modified. This will change and update what time it is anytime any part of that record changes. So now let's go into Unito and actually build this connection between Google Sheets and Airtable. So once we start building a flow, you can select Google Sheets uh, and then you're just gonna add your account, right? And add, uh, of course, the actual sheet that you want to link, in this case, the tutorial sheet. Uh, it does give you this warning at first, sometimes, but saying, hey, are, are you sure you installed the, the add-on and it has the last uh, modified time and, and you need ID? Of course it does, so that, that warning goes away. And we're doing the same thing inside of Airtable, connecting it to that tutorial uh, table that we made here. So choosing your flow is really, really helpful for when you don't know or you do know where you want the information to originate and then be repopulated. So I spoke earlier in this video about having different departments that like to use different tools. So maybe if you're in a marketing department and you're creating some content in Airtable, but you want to populate the results of those campaigns into Google Sheets, that would be a single directional flow. You would wanna go from Airtable to Google Sheets. Now. Uh, the, the bi-directional flow means that if you edit something inside of Google Sheets, it's also gonna push that data back into Airtable. Um, again, really wanna be intentional with how the information flows because you don't want a situation where you know, one, one side is updated and the other side is not. So just be aware of if you're gonna allow edits on one side to affect edits on the other side. Now in, in this uh, specific section of the Unito flow, we're building rules. Now, just take a deep breath here because these rules are not as big of a deal as it might seem, or they're not as daunting or scary as, as this, this page might seem. This is essentially the criteria that you're setting to trigger the synchronization to happen. So in this case, we're saying the created time is after October 8th and uh, and that's gonna happen inside of Google Sheets when, when that record is created after that date. And we'll get back to how we deal with historicals in a minute, but this rule is basically saying from today forward, right? Start synchronization of all new created material. So that's really, uh, really an important distinction. 
And at this point, we're actually mapping the fields. So when we go into company and company, uh, department and department, right? First name and first name, last name and last name, we're, we're gonna match all of these fields with the email and we want those fields to bi-directionally sync. So if we update a name in Google Sheets, we want that name to be updated in Airtable. Uh, so definitely click that launch flow button and let's see what happens. So you start to see this uh, wheel happen on the bottom of the most recent activity here. And typically syncing, first time syncing Airtable uh, and G Sheets with Unido does take a few minutes. Do not expect it to happen immediately. And the most important thing is that it's gonna start for any new records created. So this is our view right now in a form uh, on Airtable, just actually filling out templated information. And then that information actually got relayed from Airtable all the way over to Google Sheets. So now if you've seen the flow work for new records, what about old records? So if you navigate down to the most recent activity and you actually go to the very bottom of this page, it says include older work items or records. So this means that all of the things that happened previous to that October 8th date that we talked about earlier on with, with the rules that we made, this is going to sync everything. And this is typically one of the steps that we miss. Steps that, that people get really tripped up on is like, yeah, this is great. I have a new rule set up for today in the future, but I have three years of data or, or the last six months worth of data. How do I get that to convert? And, and it's that button right there. So you're gonna want to include older work items or records. And when you click that button, it will go through the syncing again, and you'll actually see records come in uh, from the other place, right? So in this case, we have two uh, new records pop in into Airtable directly related to that, you know, syncing, syncing the old previous records. I hope this video has been helpful. Again, if you have multiple departments using different tools, a synchronization tool like Unido will be very, very helpful for keeping all the information up to date. If there's anything else you'd like us to, to cover here on the show, don't be afraid to leave a comment down below. And of course, any resources are in the description down below. And don't forget, Keep the flow. See you next time.